All right. YouTube, we are live on twitch.tv slash DK. If you're watching this soon after this being uploaded, we are talking about transaction rollback because the meta right now is being absolutely decimated and dominated by Snake Eye. Well, is transaction rollback the answer to beat Snake Eye? It gives us more power going second, for example, as we see right here, we are going second against Snake Eye. Thank you, Lemon, for this top tier replay that I have not even seen yet. Hajime, let's see, is this the answer? Let me make sure we have the in-game sound. Everything is good and perfect. We are great. We're gonna speed on through the turn one Snake Eye play because we don't really care about what they're doing. Ash on the original Sinful could be an option. Otherwise, you hold the Ash for the Ash effect of summoning a monster from the deck. Actually negating the Poplar because I've been talking about, talking with the other Snake Eyes players and they are saying that the Poplar searching for the field spell is a lot more devastating for the grind game of the game, that it is very difficult to beat them once they have access to this card. After a lot of play testing, they believe that just eliminating this from being searched for, they're a lot easier to deal with. Is that the case? Well, we're not gonna even find out because the Ash just got freaking negated. All right, grabbing the Divine Temple. Let's speed this up again, setting up into the back row, Link Kariboing, very nice. And then we are gonna get the transaction rollback in the grave right now, whoa. By getting transaction rollback and the ice dragon prison into the graveyard right here, right now, the rollback can copy the effect of ice dragon prison to take a pyro monster to then banish a pyro on their field plus the monster they took control of. Okay, and we are doing that exactly. Half our life, this is chain link four. Chain Link 1 being the activation of Poplar targeting itself to put itself into the back row. So you don't even have to wait on a separate chain. You don't have to wait for your resolution. Just right then, right there, we're essentially chaining the transaction rollback from the hand by getting into the grave by a cost. Holy moly. Maxi, sure, draw one off of us reborning your Poplar. Let's take it. And then we still have, you know, it looks like we have nothing, right? but we do have two traps that are about to be set from the deck. So grab the Poplar, banishing the Ash. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Chandelier resolving, set up the big Welcome Labyrinth. Torby now setting up a regular Welcome Labyrinth. These are turn zero plays, turn freaking zero. And because a monster left the field through a trap effect, we get to trigger the Chandelier, add back to the hand here. Very nicely done. Flame Burst Dragon being triggered off of our summon that happened. We are going to be banishing, drawing a card. That's fine for the link this up into Hida. Didn't you finger my Ash? Hida summon my banished Ash, not gonna work. Okay, nice try. We are going to now be discarding for our Jet Synchron, further linking this up into Nightmare Unicorn. Unicorn on summon, discard, spin a card back in the deck, not dealing with the big Welcome Labyrinth. Their turn one got completely screwed. <laughs> that is a horrible turn one, all because of us copying the Ice Dragon Prison. Damn, that is nuts. We also have Mudora, the Explorer, that is also good. Big Welcome Labyrinth's gonna be summoning from the deck, then returning back to our hand. They are gonna be drawing just one card off of this effect. Come forth and summon our Lovely. Lovely's gonna be able to recycle our Ice Dragon Prison or recycle our Big Welcome Labyrinth. Because a monster left the field through a trap effect, we get to non-target pop a card in the field or in the hand. Main phase two, recycling that Ice Dragon Prison, which is gonna hard counter Snake Eye. And Mudora, hard counter Snake Eye. So there you go, transaction rollback is the answer to the Snake Eye meta. You saw it here first.